Okay, let's do our warm-ups and some gentle yoga today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, keeping the hips open. Activate your core, get that posture lengthening up through your spine, and bring the shoulders back and down. Spread your toes, get a good support up through the crown. Take a moment to focus inward. <coughs> And breathe. Inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out. Hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor. Lift your heart and stretch your head back. Some nice upper body work. And then pivot at your hips coming over. Bring your hands up and your head down. Spread your toes, move your jaw, your chin, get that neck releasing. And then bend your knees and work your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up. Again, into a nice little upper body back bend. Stretch back through your head, drop the shoulders and breathe. And then inhale upright, releasing your arms and take a moment of feeling your spine. Again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and clasp the opposite way behind you. Press the hands down and the heart high, and don't forget to breathe. Stretch out through your head as you pivot over. And again, just lift the sitting bones, stretch your legs, move your hands toward your head for the shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. Bend your knees again and work all the way back up. And one more back bend, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders, and stretching the head away. Remember, don't lift your chin too high, no crunching the neck. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment again, feeling your spine activating. Side stretches, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, Hands over your shoulders, and then just press. Bring your arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, crown high, stretch that whole body, and stay facing the front as you lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for extra stretch through the hips and rib, and feel that side open. Don't lean forward or backward. And then inhale that straight up. Keep the shoulders down and switch your hands. And again, arms by your ears. Straighten everything out. Lean to the opposite side. Once again, stretch out through your hands, down into the foot you're leaning away from. Get those ribs opening and that hip opening too. And then inhale back upright. Shoulders down as you bring the hands back to your side. Feel those sides a little more open, and then we'll stretch the spine apart for our twist. So spread your toes, relax your shoulders, bring your arms to shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasp in your elbows. Stretch the spine apart, sitting bones down, cram high, and turn for a twist. Spread your toes, get the weight on both feet evenly. Keep it that way as you pivot over in the twist. So deepen as much as you'd like. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, and keep the weight on both feet evenly. And then again, inhale your way up and lift your heart. Stretch your elbows back and lift your chest, coming into that upper body only as you back bend, making sure you don't overwork your low back. Inhale to the top, exhale to the center, switch your arms around, and again, lengthen that spine to twist to the other side. A breath in, and come on over. And again, just deepen as far as you'd like, relaxing in the twist. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can, and keep it that way as you work your way all the way up in the twist into the upper body back here. Chest high, keep breathing, and lengthen through the spine. Inhale up, right, 
Exhale, around to the center. Arms up, shoulders down, sitting bones toward the floor. Extended now. Come up on one side, stretch that side, coming up on your opposite toe. Side you stretch, face flat. And again, exhale that one down. Other side up, just lengthen through the ribs, through the whole side. And then both arms up again, clasp the hands, press the palms up. Stretch out through your elbows, through your palms. Everything right above your shoulders. Pivot at your hips, keep your arms by your ears, push those sitting bones back, get parallel to the floor, stretch, and then drop into red dog, and pull in a little deeper. So hands behind your legs, just give a good stretch to your spine, and then release back to rag doll, and work your way back into mountain pose. So feel your spine all activated, Ready for a little bit more upper body work. So let's take the hands onto your back, elbows toward each other. Press gently into that low back with your hands for support and lift your chest. So keep the chin down slightly. Remember, you want to keep stretching through your neck. Just get a little upper body back bend going there through the top of your head. Keep the shoulder blades toward your waist and the elbows toward each other. Feel that heart just expand and open. And then chin to your chest, coming back upright, release your arms, and take a moment feeling your spine. And then clasp your hands and bring them behind your head, elbows straight out to the sides. So push your head back into your hands and lift your heart. So a little more middle back stretch as we go into this gentle back bend. Breathe in. And as you exhale, just sink into those hands. So keep lifting through the chest as you sink the head back. Then into that middle back, upper back for a little bit more of a back bend. Elbows straight out to the side. Keep breathing with it, just exhaling and deepening. Hips over your ankles. And again, tip your chin back toward your chest as you come back upright and release your arms all the way down. Shoulders back and down, arms up at shoulder level, fingertips together, elbows out. Pull your elbows back and then fingertips back together. And then spread your arms way out, bring them toward the back as far as they want to go, and back together in front. So elbows back, just a gentle opening, and then back together. And then really open through that whole upper chest area, and again, back together. One more time, just the gentle, and then a bit more exaggerated. Coming back as far or not as your body wants to go, remember personal practice. And again, release the arms. Shoulders back and down, and arms relaxing. Bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, head over your shoulder, and bend your elbow. Take the other hand and put it on the elbow and pull the elbow in toward your head. Push your head back into that arm so you're not leaning forward through the neck or the spine. So the spine stays nice and straight, stretching up through the crown as that hand slides down your spine. And then take the hand that's up and pull it around. See if you can clasp your hands behind you or not. Hold your shirt if you can. So pull those elbows in and stretch them away from each other and feel what's going on through your shoulders. Take a breath, just relax them. And then releasing the hands, come back again into mountain pose. Feel the difference, so yeah, balance your body. Hand out, palm up, hand over your shoulder. Keep the shoulder down, bend the elbow, pull the hand on the elbow, and into your head. Pull the head back. Remember, keep everything open through the chest, through the spine. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that opening through the arm and shoulder. And then take the other hand around. See if you can clasp behind you. 
And again, just fingertips together or palms, whatever works. Or if that doesn't work at all, just hold your shirt and work those hands toward each other. Pull the elbows in toward the middle and away from each other. Again, feel what that does through your shoulders. Take a moment, just breathing, relaxing that lower body. And then releasing your arms, again, just unwind and feel your spine, your shoulders, your upper body. And then bring your feet together. Bend your knees a little bit, but not beyond your toes, hands right above your knees. And we'll just do some circles for those ankles, knees, and hips. So get that lower body working, circling as much or as little as you need. And then stop and go the other way. And remember, don't bring those knees too far forward. You want to keep them behind your toes. Feel your hips and your feet working, as well as your knees. And then stopping, look out there in front, straighten your spine and lift your heels, coming onto the ball of your foot area, base of your toes. Don't crunch the toes down too much. You want to spread them apart, giving your balance. Find it. See how stable you are today. And then roll back and forth on your feet, onto the heels and toes, working that whole arch bottom of your foot area. And then again, coming back up, into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. Sink into your feet evenly up through the crown. Relax your shoulders, activate your core. Check your alignment and we'll do a balance. Just stand and warm up. Knee going toward that second toe. Make sure everything's lined up through the shoulder from the foot. Spread out those toes. When you're ready, bring your other foot up as high as it wants to go. It can come all the way towards your heart or down by your foot, wherever it wants. And then circle your ankle when you're stable. Want to keep those ankles nice and flexible. So breathe and relax it. And then straighten your foot out, flexing and pointing before you put it down. Shift that balance over to the opposite side. So again, spreading your toes, aligning everything up, getting the core activated, the spine opening, rising up through the crown. Sink into that opposite foot and bring the other leg up. Remember, don't cross it over, keep it straight down. And when you're stable, circle your ankle. Both ways, keep it flexible and working for you. And then again, straighten it out before putting it back down. Shoulders back and down, crown high. Let's bring one arm straight out, and then the elbow up toward the ceiling, or the fingertips up toward the ceiling. Take your other arm out, bring the arm in by your nose, and bring the other one around. See if your hands can meet at the palms or the back of your hands. So right in front of your nose, pull the elbows down and in, feel your shoulders, sink evenly into your feet, and then push out through the elbows and up with your fingers. So little eagle arms there. A little bit. Tighten this across the upper shoulders as you're there, and then relax them as much as you can. And then fly your wings away and relax. So of course, yes, we have to do the other side too. Arm out, bend the elbow, bring the arm out, pull the elbow in toward the midline, and bring the hand around, see if you can clasp the palms or the backs of the hands. Again, pull the elbows down and in and let things relax. Breathe, keep that core active, support your spine, sitting bones toward the floor. Elbows out. Hands coming up a little bit further, if that works for your shoulders. Just feel that stretch across the upper body. And then breathe. Feel what's going on for your body. And fly away, just letting everything work out. Take a moment and breathe. And bring your hands together. 
Look at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling, and lift your heart. Pull the thumbs back while you look at them, coming a little more into that upper body for your back bend. And then small dive forward, arms coming out, pivot at your hips, lead with your heart, and drop all the way into your abdomen. Hands up under your knees, on your shins, and straighten your back, halfway up stretch. Lengthen, breathe, and then bend your knees and come all the way to the mat for our child pose transition. Hands, palms up, forehead down, shoulders relaxing, and take a moment just breathing and releasing. Exhale and attention, feel the stretch on the whole back of your body and the release through those hips. And then inhale, sitting upright and come off into staff position. Press out through your heels, sitting bones behind you, crown toward the ceiling, and don't forget to breathe. Bring your foot to your opposite thigh and let the knee come down, letting that hip start working out on that outside of the hip joint. If that's tight today, remember you can bring this leg over to the side, letting the knee come down a little bit more, opening through that pelvis, or not, your choice. Add a little weight with your hand if you want, and remember you can also pad behind you if that helps. Take a moment to breathe, just letting that knee come down as much as it wants, letting that hip area loosen and relax. Remember, breathe into it. Let it release, don't try forcing it. And then bring your knee and ankle into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull the leg in a little more. And rotate side to side for that hip opening to continue. A little higher or closer if you love it, makes it more intense, don't do it if it doesn't work for you. And then release that one and notice the difference. So yes, we're doing the other side to balance it out because in yoga we do that. We balance everything as much as we can. Sitting bones behind you, knee coming down. If it's feeling tight on this side, remember, leg over. But keep the knee and toes up, whichever way you do. Again, you can put your hands there, but don't push. Just add a little weight. Let it happen. Don't force it. In yoga, that's the secret, is letting things happen, allowing your body to relax, not forcing it because that tightens the muscles and then they don't work as easily. So take a breath or two, just relax and don't forget to breathe. And again, bring your foot and knee up or wrapping your arms around and pulling in. Let's get that hip rotator a little bit more warmed up. Take a moment and breathe. And again, higher or closer if that's working for you today. But keep the shoulders down, the spine straight, the core active, everything working with you. Lots of things to remember. And exhale, releasing that leg. Feel your hips a little bit more open, and don't forget to breathe. And then bring your feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you, core of course activated so that it can control your roll all the way to the floor. So bring your body all the way onto the back, shoulders toward your waist, sitting bones toward your heels, hands just gently palms up, shoulders rolling down, and let that belly sink. Exhale, sitting bones a little more toward your heels, press your back down and bend your knees. Bring the heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. Remember, roll in at the top of the thigh to make sure those legs don't spread apart. Let the whole bottom of your foot supporting in as you're there. Press your back down. And then arch up, bring the sitting bones slightly toward you, going from the shoulder blades to the sitting bones arched up for a little back bend in that lower back. Exhale. Press down, contracting through the abs a little bit, and then inhaling, arching up, getting that space under your back. So back strengthener, and of course an abs toner as we stay here for a few breaths. Feel your body, let it work as much or as little 
as it needs to, just gently easing into your position. And then coming back down with the back pressing down, those knees still straight up, feet right next to your sitting bones, hands, palms down at your sides. Press into the back and then inhale the hips up, coming into your bridge. Come into the feet evenly, move up onto your shoulders, not your neck, then lift your hips. So the knees are straight up, the hips are going straight up, your head is on the floor, not your neck, and your shoulders are supporting you along with your arms and hands and feet. Lift the hips maybe a little bit more. And then release the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the ribs, and the spine back to the floor. Feel everything sinking back to you. Take a breath. Exhale in tension. We're going to do the same thing again. Hands, palms down, shoulders down, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down. Lift the hip bones straight up into bridge. Keep those knees hip width apart. Sink evenly into your feet. Work up a little higher onto your shoulders if that works for you, pressing into your hands and arms. Stay there or bring your hands under your hips and heels back down to the floor, giving yourself some support through that hip area for a little bit more of a bridge. Knees straight up, hips up, chin slightly into your chest, but remember, don't go onto your neck. Keep that head, back of the head on the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Lift those hips maybe a little more. Push into those feet maybe a little bit more. Feel that back and that back bend maybe a little bit more. And then release your hands, your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and entire spine to the floor. Take a breath. Just feel your body. Let it relax there. Exhale, any tension. And we're going to take that one a little bit further. So if you're already as extended into that bridge position as you want to be, stick with what we've already done. But we'll go a little bit further. So hands, palms down, shoulders down, feet hip width apart, knees straight up from your ankles. And press the back down, sitting bones towards your heels. Activate the core. Lift the hip bones straight up. Again, coming just into that gentle bridge, pushing into your hands and arms up onto your shoulders as much or as gently as you want. Head on the floor. Don't ever bring your neck down. Press into your feet. Stay there or bring your hands under again, giving yourself a little low back support as you're in that position. Now, only if you want to, Extend one leg out straight. And if that works, you can bring the other one out as well. Push those hips up, press into the feet, up through the hips. Breathe. And then bring the feet back. Knees straight up, hips straight up, and shoulders supporting you and your head, not your neck. Release your hands, your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs and spine. And then back down. Just draw those knees up toward your heart. Give yourself a good stretch through that lower back, wherever we are back bending a little bit more. Exhale, feet to the floor. Take a moment there, feeling your body. Exhaling any tension. And bring your arms up to two position. Press your back down, bring your feet up off the floor, knees together. And we're going to roll the knees over to one side as you turn your head toward the opposite side. So take a moment there, just a gentle twist. Head down on the floor, looking toward the opposite arm for that neck twist. Shoulders down for your middle back twist. And knees coming toward the foot side at hip level as much as you like. If you love it, and you want a little more hip and lower back work, bring your knees up towards your elbows. And if you want even a little bit more, you can straighten your legs out toward your hand. Take a breath in whichever position you're in and just let things relax. 
allowing, never forcing your choice. Exhale. And remember, if your knees don't make it to the floor in that original position, just pad under them and stay there. That's perfectly fine. Take a breath. Exhale, bringing your heels toward your hips. Roll onto your back, knees straight up above again. And of course, we're going to balance and roll the knees to the opposite side. So bring the knees over right at hip level, as far down as they want to go. Pad if you need to. Turn your head the opposite direction. Let those shoulders come down, giving a good middle back stretch and twist. And head turning for your neck area only as much as your neck wants to be. Again, knees coming down as much as they like right at hip level. Or for a little bit more low back work up towards your elbow or extend the legs out straight if you want even more work in that low back area. Take a breath and exhale in tightness. And then again, heels back towards your hips and roll onto your back. Bring your feet to the mat. Straighten things out, shoulders down, hands, palms up, straight out from your shoulders, palms up or down, your choice. And again, we're going to do another twist. This one's a little bit more intense, so if you like that previous one, you can stick with it. We're going to press the back down, sitting bones towards your heels slightly, and bring your feet up once more. And this time we're going to raise the feet towards the ceiling. So straight up, right above your hips with those feet. Take a moment to breathe. And if you're going to go further, turn your hands, palms down. If you've got your knees bent, you can be up or down. And then we're going to bring the feet over right at hip level toward the side as you turn your head toward the opposite arm. Feet as far toward the floor as they want to go. They don't need to go all the way. They probably even shouldn't go all the way as you're in that position. So just relax in your twist, gently working those abs and legs, as well as the shoulders and middle back and head and neck. Take a breath. You still got your knees bent, keep those heels in toward your hips. Otherwise, raise those feet straight back up. And come back into the center. Shoulders down, hands, palms down if you're doing the extended leg version. Otherwise, palms up or down as you're doing the bent knee version. And again, roll into the opposite side with your feet. Right at hip level coming down. Keep those shoulders down. You probably need to press a little bit harder into that back shoulder as you're coming with the full leg version into that twist. Exhale, head turning for your neck area as much or a little as you need. And remember, those feet don't need to go anywhere near the floor, even in the extended version. Take a breath. Exhale, let any adjustments happen to align and balance your body and your energy. And again, just breathe into it. Keep the shoulders down. And when you're ready, bring those feet straight back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, back pressing down. If your knees are still bent, that's okay. Just slide them out. Or if they're straight, lead with the heel. Use that core for support as you bring the legs back all the way to the floor. And when you get down, take a moment to breathe. Let that circulation increase. Rotate your hands, palms up near your hips, shoulders down into the floor. Feel that spine. Just let it be naturally relaxed toes toward each other, and releasing through the lower legs, coming into our final relaxation. Soften your belly, finally. Let it just relax, shoulders releasing. Take a breath, exhale, let the whole body relax. Deep breath in. As you exhale, just sink a little deeper into that surface beneath you and let the earth support you, letting your body go, just relaxing your muscles, releasing into that earth support. Breathing deep, letting the belly soften, arms relax, legs release, and your mind release 
Feel your thoughts of your body as well. And as your mind releases those thoughts, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. There's no need to think about the body or the mind. There's no need to think about the past or the future. Just allow the thoughts to drift in and out as easily as your breath without attention. Letting, breathing, letting your body sink and your mind drift. And your awareness release both your body and your mind. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts, but it's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts drift away as your body sinks further into that earth and breeze. And allow your awareness to find just the peace within as you cope with them. Focus on the peace, feeling your mind, feeling your body, feeling your being, just with peace. And go ahead and keep relaxing if you have time today. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin stretching your body gently, however feels good for you today. And breathing more fully and stretching more completely as so you are ready to do so. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining.